I feel so f- dumb right now. Damn. And I'm mad that I feel dumb. Like I just don't. Uh, I just <laughs> don't know how to take what I'm feeling right now. Well. <laughs> um. I deleted Bumble first of all. That's not why I'm crying. Oh. Um. <laughs> I like this is why I feel dumb what did this man do I knew that there was no way I was gonna see that person I went on a great date with again but for some reason for the past few days I've had it in my head I was like but it would be really nice to you what is up guys my name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders so i actually earned 600 euros and i did not have to pay for that flight which was amazing sign up today why am i thinking about him so much often lately like is there a reason i and then my head like i hate that my mind does this i really do i hate how fast i can romanticize people i really can't stand how much I romanticize other people. Can't stand it. I can't stand it. I actually. When a person is lonely, that is when they start romanticizing other people. Only lonely people do that. <sighs> that goes to show. Like there are a lot of women nowadays which are at home and they pretend. They they're posting on Instagram and they're posting, and that's also a sign which I've noticed. Like mostly the girls which are fulfilled, they don't post. They hardly ever seek attention. But watch a girl guys watch her when she's constantly posting and constantly <laughs> that is just her craving attention and nowadays if she's craving too much attention she's gonna crave it from somebody else while she's with you i wish i was cold-hearted like i just the reason why i'm sad is because i was so nervous to text him i haven't texted him since we stopped talking and I just felt like saying hi and then he replied right away like and when people reply to me right away for some reason it makes me feel like shit they don't really want to talk to me like I instantly felt that as soon as I got his message I was like I feel like this is not gonna go anywhere and then I ended up <clears throat> saying like because we were just like hey how are you <laughs> and then I end up saying like would you be open to talking casually with me because it's really nice to know there's another adventurous person out there but he met someone when he got back and things are she's dating a guy which is out of her league that is a problem that is a problem here and she knows it she's not like imagine when you know that you got a girl you're not thinking, you're not doing too much. You're just like, ah, I know. I can say whatever. I don't give a damn. I already signed the contract. I can call her out. I can say whatever. But when you know that that person, I don't know. I might sign with a new club. I don't know. That turns them on. Listen to what women say. That is what we should do as men. Just listen. Don't be like, oh, I hate women. Oh. Don't do all of that. Just listen. Listen, be the... Be the guy that listens. Try to understand, like, huh, why, why did she just say that? Why? She's, say, she's telling you the whole truth. If you want to learn, like, women's psychology, if you want to learn how they work, this is how they work. They go for the guy which is above them, slightly above them, because she wants to be inferior. That is how it works. Actually really good for him. So he doesn't want to jeopardize it. And I, I was like, I said thank you for the fast replies and that I'm really, I'm genuinely happy for him mm. because I really am. And then, 
this part is why I'm crying, like, because I just I feel like it happens to me every time. But he was like, I do think that meeting you was a catalyst in opening up my heart so I could meet her. I'm really grateful I met you. And I wish you the best of luck. And I just. Damn. He said he's really happy that he met me because he thinks it was a catalyst to him being able to be how he is for the relationship that he's in. And a part of me is really glad he told me that, like genuinely, because I, I want to see it the same way. I think what breaks my heart a little is just the fact of how fast I started to romanticize after a couple days, like just recently, because when he left, I knew I wanted this to be like a detached thing. Like I wanted to keep him as, you know, a creative inspiration for me. I wanted just just that. Like I was like, you know, that was great. That was a great experience. But I think if I'm being honest, I haven't been on a date since then. And it's not because I ha don't want to. It's because there's just no one who give has given me the same. Everybody still talks about themselves on Bumble. Everybody only wants one night stands on Bumble, and it's just... I guess after meeting him, I was really hoping I would just... meet more people who were... who gave me, like, genuine interest, and just... I don't use dating apps. I approach. I know it's maybe, like, a stupid thing, but I approach. I talk. Try to be a genuine guy and usually it's my network. That That is how I get girls. I can be just 100% honest with you guys. If I'm hanging out with a girl, I have certain girls which are just my friends as well and they bring in girls. So I'm like, I don't understand this whole thing about the dating apps, guys. Why be sitting on the dating app? Because it's like, it's desperate. It's desperate to sit on a dating app. It's, like, it's almost like I'm waiting, waiting to get food. It's like go out if you see a girl which you like go and talk to her that is way better than swiping left or swiping right i i think it's just stupid i just i don't like it i've never liked it and maybe it's because i'm an artist maybe it's because i'm artistic or not artistic but artistic you guys understand what i mean i just i feel there's no you can't you can't fake chemistry, you can't, like, banter, you can't fake that. Once you get banter with a girl, you're, you got her. Or you have her laughing, you got her. So she has to see you in real life, she has to hear your tone, she has to... I just, I literally, I don't get this whole thing about dating apps, I don't. And this is what happens when you're on the dating apps. So, go monk mode, guys. Just... Stop with the dating apps, start approaching. I know it's difficult, I know it's hard, but a woman will always respect you if you approach. She will. She can laugh at you, like, oh my God, yeah, it's so funny. You hear people talking so much about Lionel Messi. Oh, he's not a good football player. Same thing with Ronaldo. Oh, he's not good, but he's out there, he's playing. At the end of the day, you are sitting in the crowd and you're talking that's why i say the most confidence the people with the most confidence they put out the videos they don't just talk about doing no they do it even though they're flopping they do i definitely don't want to think there's no one else like that out there i don't want to think that but i'm definitely really tired about trying now like i'm so tired of trying for it I feel so closed off about it. <laughs> I'm so tired about feeling second choice. Mm. I think I'm taking it harder because that was actually the last answer I was expecting. But at least he told me right away. I'm grateful. <laughs> I just feel like I'm an idiot. <laughs> 
I feel like a f idiot for getting excited <laughs> the past day, getting ready to text him, and <laughs> I just feel so f stupid. <laughs> and I can't let go of that. Like I can't let go of how stupid I feel. <laughs> Okay, there are a lot of things which she's saying there which are very interesting. Second choice. So this has happened to her so many times before. So she's projecting all of her past into that specific interaction with the guy, which I don't think is healthy. That's the first thing. Second of all, don't go to where people tolerate you. Go to where people love you. They're just tolerating her. There is a place on this planet where guys would go crazy for a girl like this. They would. She probably, in her comment section, there are probably guys which are writing like, bro, come on a date with me, come on. But usually it has to do with vibrations and it has to do with how you attract. So hone in on the things that you're good at and forget the rest. This woman would never be a good seller. Why? Because she's internalizing. As a person, you can't internalize. Honestly, when I'm watching her video, I will scroll on to the next person and I will forget this person just like that. In five minutes, I would have forgotten her. I'm not going to be thinking, oh my God, that girl's like... That's how fast people forget about you. That's how fast people forget about if you did something embarrassing. So go crazy. That's why people like sometimes you see the guy with the drunken guy, which is dancing on the table, dancing with the women, having a good time. He's attracting the girls because he doesn't care. That is the secret. He doesn't care. Don't be the guy which is overthinking. This is a great, this is a great lesson. It is 100% a great lesson. When it comes to how to approach dating, don't be the guy that tries too hard. Do not. If she likes you, great, she likes you, but don't invest too much.